In this case, we will describe the technique of immediate implant placement and loading. Number 14 has been doomed hopeless for restorative reasons, so we decided to remove the tooth and immediately place an implant. If primary stability is achieved, then we will immediately load the case. As you can see here, the root was removed traumatically, and we immediately placed a Legacy 3 4.2 by 11 mm implant, slightly angulated in order to avoid the sinus and get primary stability. We took impression and then we placed the healing abutment and within 24 hours the lab was able to fabricate a cemented screw retained temporary restoration made out of composite utilizing the abutment that comes with a legacy implant. The temporary crown is decontaminated utilizing a steamer and then is placed into position and screwed with 30 newton centimeters. We evaluate the occlusion and we make sure we don't have any contact during lateral excursions. And as you can see, three months later, we have very nice soft tissue adaptation around our temporary crown. Six months later, we can proceed with the fabrication of the final crown. So we will remove the temporary crown, take a new impression in order to fabricate the final crown. As you can see, we have been able to create a nice soft tissue profile the presence of bleeding indicates the presence of hemidesmosomes, thus attachment of the soft tissue around the temporary crown. So we utilize an impression coping in order to take a close tray impression utilizing polyvisiloxane material. This is the impression and now we are able to place the impression copying into position, take a bite registration of the patient and send all this information to the lab in order to fabricate the final crown. The final crown is screw retain restoration, porcelain fused to metal. So we remove the temporary crown and you can see that we have very nice soft tissue profile around our implant, both facially and also occlusally. The final crown is placed into position and screwed by hand. At this time point, we take a parallel cone X-ray in order to evaluate the right adaptation of the prosthesis on the implant platform. The final prosthesis is screwed into place at 30 newton centimeters utilizing a calibrated ratchet. The screw access hole is closed initially with teflon and the teflon is very thoroughly contest. And following that, we will close the access hole utilizing composite material. We start the occlusal adjustments utilizing an 80 micron articulating paper and we evaluate both sides making sure we have the same type of contacts both on the right and left side. And we make sure also that we have the same amount of bite force all over the arch. We finalize the occlusal adjustment utilizing 8 microns articulating paper when the patient bites down the articulated paper can cross through the implant crowns. However, when we ask the patient to clench, then the articulating paper is teared apart. And here you can see how nicely the soft tissue adapts around our final crown. One month later, seven months post restoration, we also reevaluate the occlusion and we can see that we have no recession and we have nice soft tissue profile around the implant. Two years later, post implant placement and restoration, we can see that we have nice soft tissue adaptation around the crowns, no gingival recession is present, thus we have good soft tissue stability and as the parallel cone X-ray shows, we also have good hard tissue stability around the implant. Thank you for watching.